So let me get this straight. I take a week off for family vacation, and suddenly the Tampa Bay Rays are the best team that to ever exist. Matt Chapman is the second coming of Babe Ruth, and Shohei Otani is on pace to win the AL Cy Young Award. Just like we all predicted, right? What's up, everyone? My name is Christy, and we're now rocking with the 5 to a Podcast. We are a daily baseball betting show that touches on just about everything you want to know about Major League Baseball from a betting perspective. Today is Monday, April the 17th, and we are back in action after some much-needed rest and relaxation in the Dominican Republic. We had great weather, great times, but I'm very excited to be back on the baseball grind and give you baseball winners on the daily. For those of you who are new to the podcast, welcome and thank you so much for listening. Let me take a minute just to explain how we run things a little bit differently on this show. Each show, I give you four selections, a total, a side, a first inning prop bet, as well as a wild card selection that can be anything uh, widely available to wager on on your uh, preferred sportsbook. Anything from home run props to total bases, stolen bases, uh, you know, pitcher strikeouts and walk props, anything of that nature. All wagers are going to be tracked uh, in the link in the description to Google Docs. You give it a click if you want to follow along on the day-to-day record. If you could give this uh, channel a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest uh, content, that would be much appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the four selections. The first play we have for you is our side selection. We're taking the Philadelphia Phillies on the money line, minus 125 over the Chicago White Sox. Look, we've seen the good and the bad from the Phillies uh, over the last four games in uh, Great American Ballpark versus Cincinnati. They put up 24 runs in a four-game series uh, where they split the series 2-2 with the Reds. Now they get to face a pitcher in Lance Lynn who's been shelled of late. He's given up 11 runs over his last uh, two outings. And the Phillies' bats are hot right now, and we expect them to get to Lance Lynn early and often in this one. Uh, as for Zach Wheeler, he's coming off you know a couple of great performances. He's going to keep the ball rolling and the momentum rolling for you know him personally and his team. And we're going to cash the ticket with a better Philly side in this contest. Take Phillies' money line minus 125 over the White Sox. The second play we have for you is our totals play. We are taking the over nine runs at odds of minus 115 in the Tampa Bay Rays Cincinnati Red contest. Look, this is a strictly a weather play. Uh, the wind's going to be blowing out to uh, left field at about 20 plus miles per hour. And with the Rays, you know, raking so far throughout the first you know 16 games of their season, they're ranked uh, you know top two in basically in all offensive uh, statistics. And Hunter Green, he's prone to uh, you know giving up walks to you know every batter he faces. Essentially, um, we don't expect a 10K zero walk performance from Hunter Green like he did in his last outing. The Rays are going to be ready for him. They're coming off a good 8-1 win against the Blue Jays the night before. Uh, the Reds, they can uh, you know hit the ball as well. They put up 13 runs uh, two games ago against the Phillies. And with this total sitting at 9, we expect both teams to hit at least 4 runs in this contest, pushing us to at least 9 runs in this game altogether. Take the over 9 runs at odds of minus 115. The third play we have for you is our first inning prop play, and we are taking the Milwaukee Brewers, Seattle Mariners, no run first inning at odds of minus 110. Look, how can we not take this? Milwaukee is still a big question mark uh, for me, despite their 11-5 start on the season. Offensively, they haven't been exactly, you know, uh, hitting the ball all over the park. They're coming off a 1-0 win against San Diego uh, just yesterday. As for Chris Flexen for the Mariners, um, you know, he's in desperate need of a bounce back after getting shelled for eight runs against the Cubs on um, on the 11th of April. Corbin Burns, uh, he's coming off two great uh, performances, and I expect him to keep it rolling against the Mariners side that hasn't scored a first inning run in uh, four games. We're going to take uh, both pitchers to uh, you know settle in early and often in this one, and we're going to take the no-run first inning in the Milwaukee-Seattle contest at odds of minus 110. And the final play we have for you is our wild card selection. We are taking Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels over his strike prop at whatever line it is put out for us tomorrow. Now, I know it's silly to put out a prop bet that we don't have a line for it, but I'm predicting a Shoei Otani masterclass. He's been unreal on the bump so far through two starts. Uh, he's given up just one earned run and no home runs. He struck out 24 batters uh, through 19 innings of pitching duty. The Red Sox, they're simply just not good enough offensively um, You know, for my, my liking. They're going to strike out a ton. They average nearly stri- uh, eight strikeouts over the course of the season uh, per game this year. And Shohei Otani, they're going to need him to uh, come up with a big game in order for the Angels to avoid uh, the sweep altogether. I'm expecting at least 10 Ks from Shohei Otani on the bump, and whatever he can contribute offensively as a DH uh, is just going to be a bonus for the Angels. 
Give me Shohei Otani over his strikeout props at whatever line it is. That wraps up the 8th edition of the 5 Tool Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the episode and want to help share and support the podcast, please drop a like, subscribe, leave a review, a rating, a comment, and share it with your friends on social media. The next available uh, episode of the 5 Tool Podcast will be available Monday night. Until next time... 